it's retro computing time again. I thought this rather hilarious um, sort of article from the BBC sort of um, showing retro computers from 1999 was hilarious. I'm going to share the link for it, but the fascination people are having with the sort of the fact that, wow, this machine's only got 64 kilobytes of memory was hilarious. And that's how in 1999 when these machines were basically had only really disappeared off the scene for at best a, a decade. Some of these machines were still having games and stuff produced with them into the mid nineties, especially the Commodore there. The Spectrum was having games reproduced for it. That's sort of um, a budget titles well into the early nineties. As I can remember the, the, the shock and the horror of people seeing a, uh, the the low power quality of these machines was hilarious, especially um the co presenter here, Gia Milanovic, going on about eight colors of the screen. I'm sure there's some um people who who watch this channel who remember the Spectrum and the Commodore there, and look, they've got a Spectrum Plus back there. Ooh, wow, uh, the the Spectrum that you could actually type on as it, as I remember it, as opposed to the Spectrum at the front, which was the Spectrum where you would destroy your hands for life if you try to type anything on it and the computer for posh kids the bbcb as we called it only affordable if your kids if your family was very middle class and also weighed more than a small tank and could be used to if dropped on someone would kill them from a great height i'm sure there's some people who remember memories of christmas days of you like loading their games up who might find this one of interest to watch <laughs> 